Our Pete Frisco is at Giants minicamp today where most eyes are on Daniel Jones as he begins to learn from Eli Manning. The Giants leading us all to believe that barring injury, Jones won't start at all this season or at least not until the very end or they're out of the playoff race. But we shall see. Let's go out to East Rutherford, New Jersey, and bring in our very own Pete Prisco, who's traveling around, taking in mini camps all over the Northeast with the Jets yesterday, Giants today. And Pete, your Twitter feed is leading me to believe that you're even more in love with Daniel Jones than you were a week ago. I'll tell you what, he had a great day today, Chris. I mean, he was throwing the football like a veteran out there. On, on one pass play, uh, rookie Darius Slayton ran a, a post route, and he hit him right down the seam for a touchdown. And it uh, looked like an NFL quarterback. And I know there's a lot of criticism of the kid. He's probably the most scrutinized quarterback to come out in a long time because of where he was picked at number six. But I'll tell you what, you know, for all those people out there that are killing Dave Gettleman, the general manager, he might have got this one right. What about the dynamic with Eli Manning? Did you see those two working together at all today? Yeah, they do. They spend a lot of time together. And, you know, there's a, you know, a lot of guys around here say he's a baby Eli. I mean, he's a lot like Eli Manning, uh, very nondescript when it comes to off the football field, but very focused when he's on the football field. And I asked Daniel Jones about that. I talked to him earlier, and he said, look, I'm my own person. I'm not Eli Manning. And it's just great to be in a room to learn from him. But the interesting thing for him is going to be to how to balance the fact that you're learning, but you also want to play. And for now, Eli Manning is the starting quarterback. Daniel Jones, the, the, the big rookie showcase there this season for the Giants. Last season, it was Saquon Barkley. How is his role going to evolve heading into his second season? Well, I expect him to get more carries. I mean, he had 261 carries last year, averaged five yards per rush. I think he's going to get more this year. You know, maybe get it up to nearly 300. Uh, he, look, the offensive line was an issue last year. He took some real pounding at times, but they've improved on the offensive line. They went out and got Kevin Zeitler uh, in that trade for Odell Beckham. He's going to be the starting right guard. They also uh, went out and signed Mike Remmers. He's going to be the starting right tackle, so they'll be better on that side of the line. I think Nate Solder will be better. So I think it's going to be the same type of season. Look, he was over 2,000 yards from scrimmage a year ago as a rookie. He averaged 5.0 yards per rush. For me, that's a special player, and I think he's only going to get better. I think the Giants are expecting big things for him, and you know what? With the way the offense is made up, they'll need it. We've been talking a lot about the uh, the offense for the New York Giants, and we have been for several years. They had Odell Beckham, but they, they've lost a ton on defense. I mean, they, they don't have Landon Collins, Olivier Vernon, JPP is gone. Who is the face of this defense now? Well, I don't know if they have a face, but they got a lot of good young players. And one guy to keep an eye on is Lorenzo Carter, the outside linebacker. This kid had four and a half sacks last year uh, in a part-time role. He's going to be counted on uh, to become a much better pass rusher this year. They'll need him to do that. Uh, and you know what? Jason Betts, the defensive coordinator, talked about him today and said, look, he's learning how to rush the passer. Last year, he just turned it loose with his pass rush and speed, but now he knows how to use his hands. He knows how to use the technique. And I think you see a big year from Lorenzo Carter. I think this is a guy, and I told some guys here this week, I think he has a chance to get double-digit sacks for the Giants. And with the rest of that pass rush being what it is, he'll need to get it. Okay, that is Pete Prisco on the New York Giants. A little bit later today, he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Daniel Jones.